<laughs> oh my god ladies and gentlemen we're about to have a grandstand finish to the transfer window we are going back for enzo fernandez let's go <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Here we go back again on the other side of the coin. All right, welcome back to the other side of the coin, ladies and gentlemen. Lots have materialized since our last live stream, which was less than 12 hours ago. The Enzo Fernandez conversations have kicked off. It all started by actually this particular brother. Um, let me just see if I can bring this up. Uh, yes, this. Uh, his name is, uh, let me see if I can get this, Cesar Luis Merlo. It all started off with him, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Right now, this is the latest. Matt Law dropped an article literally moments ago, um, and, and the headline of it goes something like this. Story, Chelsea reopened talks with Benfica to try to sign Enzo Fernandez. It won't be easy. It ain't easy. But Chelsea still believe they have a chance. So this is Matt Law. Um, and then earlier today, record, it, it all kicked off from record, and then I think that, that after that it was that, uh, it was that other brother, uh, as I mentioned. Rui Costa, afraid of an attack from Chelsea, works to increase Enzo's release clause from 105 million to 100, 105 million, which is 120 million euros, to 130, which is 150 million euros, reports record. And we covered this in our last live stream saying, look, this doesn't make sense for any of the parties, to be honest. It doesn't make sense for Ben Vega. It doesn't make sense for Enzo Fernandez. Why, you may ask? In regards to Benfica, you're not going to get this level of money. <laughs> it's simple as that. You're finding it difficult to get 120 million. No other clubs, we are finding an opportunity right now. That's what we're going for. No other clubs will be triggering even 120 million. Don't forget taxes involved as well, let alone 150. So from Benfica's standpoint, you're a selling club. You're a selling club. And at the end of the day, you want to ensure that you get maximum amount for this particular player. But you don't want to put the price so far beyond everyone's reach where you're just potentially really harming yourself with that price now. So when you've got a team like Chelsea who's coming in hot at the moment, wanting to pay now, apparently the word is we are wanting to pay the 120 million, except we're not going to do it in one go. We want installments. And there are some sources even saying that we want to go even above the 120 million as long as we get the payment structure. This is what I said Earlier on, early in January, when this rumor started happening post the World Cup, that we might try and do something like the Nkunku situation where I think with Nkunku, we paid just a little bit over the release clause so that we can get this player, so that we don't have to worry about competition when it comes to the summer window. Similarly, I thought that's what we're going to do with Enzo Fernandez, the release clause of 120 million euros, but we may go a little bit over that as long as we get to pay it in installments which is a smart way to operate when you think about it. Just eliminating your you know, competition out of the market and, and ensuring you get a high-quality player. But the biggest snag in this whole situation is that Rui Costa and Benfica, they want the whole $120 million up front. They don't want to listen to anything else. They don't want overs. They don't want unders, definitely. They want the money, all of that up front. And that seems to be the problem. So going back to this point in regards to Benfica, you're harming yourself. You're not going to get that money from any other club. So that's one thing. At the end of the day, you're going to have to sell Enzo Fernandez down the track. You're not going to be keeping Enzo Fernandez for too long. Maybe max two seasons. Because at the end of the day, it's a five-year contract. You don't want to get into a situation where it's in the you know, final two years of the contract, then you could have potentially made a lot more money previously, but now you're probably going to make, let's say, half of 120 million euros. And you don't know what the future holds. You don't know. Right now you have something. Right now is more important than what you can, what can happen in the future. We're not fortune tellers. Injuries could be a factor. Form dip could be a factor. Right now you're able to get the creme de la creme price for this particular player. There should be an incentive for you to, 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 to sell. And don't forget, there's also a push from River Plate. River Plate, who used to own Enzo Fernandez, you know, they've got a sell-on clause. Apparently, if, if we do buy Enzo Fernandez for 120 million, River Plate will earn something around 30 million. So there's a push from there. So you, you blow this out, 
then everyone there's there's other parties that get hurt as well now from enzo's point of view you don't want to be a prisoner do you know what i mean like there's demand for you my man you can earn big bucks you your personal terms can be improved tenfold you don't want to lock yourself up by agreeing on this release clause just because you get a 2 million 2 million um, euros in in bonus i think that's the case record says enzo is fully uh, is now fully focused on benfica and would even be prepared to accept a 2 million bonus to stay so it doesn't make sense 2 million bonus for something potentially you're going to earn a lot more it just doesn't make sense so that was from record this from ben jacobs pretty much sort of summarizes everything let's go through this this is very very interesting situation with enzo fernandez can confirm chelsea are in direct talks to try and pull off a deal as mentioned by cl merlo and matt law report after early january talks stalled cfc never totally gave up chelsea now trying to find a way outside of the release clause we were always trying to find a way outside of the release clause we were never looking to hit the release clause all at once we're willing to pay that amount, but we need installments. We need installments. Um, ben Jacobs further goes on to say, I'm told Enzo Fernandez has today reiterated in strong terms to both Rui Costa and Roger Schmidt, who's the manager of Benfica, he wants to leave. In addition, Benfica's board remained divided about accepting a structured, structured deal. So there, might, there must be some parts of that board that are saying, look, let's just accept the structured payments. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a lot of money we are talking about. And then obviously there's another group that wants the whole thing all at once. Their public stance is release clause or nothing but Chelsea testing that. And one thing to understand, Enzo Fernandez, he wants the move. He sh strongly wants the move. Chelsea's last resort would be to trigger the release clause, but this has always been downplayed. But make no mistake, Chelsea are prepared to go, as one club source put it, significantly higher than their original bid. Some sources say that's 105 million, but the structure is key. So we are willing to go more than the release clause, making it far more enticing for Benfica. You're going to get a lot more money than what you originally asked for. Just give it to us in installments. It's simple as that, but they don't want the installments. Rui Costa, George Mendes, and Chelsea owners have all held cordial talks despite Schmidt claiming there was bad blood between Chelsea and Benfica. So there you go. There, there was no bad blood. Um, I think the one thing that we, I, I believe is might have happened is maybe Benfica and Rui Costa were under the impression when we, heard, when we first had that meeting that maybe we we're going to hit the release clause and pay the money all up front. But we never gave them the impression that we're going to hit the release clause or pay all that money up front. So there might have been a bit of a miscommunication earlier on. But all of that hopefully gets sorted out and we get this player. Benfica have a game on the final day of the window. So uh, if Chelsea do get a breakthrough, all parties will ideally want things resolved on Monday. Look, it would be mad. I, I would lose my mind. I would lose my marbles if we get this player. I think it would honestly close off this window which has already been quite stunning it would be become one of the most greatest of all time windows it would be goated it would literally be goated and to a point where i think we'd have to consider building a statue of tom baldy outside of Stam stamford bridge because he's managed if we pull this off him the board the all the ownership they've managed to transform the team in one window and that being also january transfer window where many people say these things don't happen in january like, that's mad. Breaking. Chelsea have informed Benfica they would pay $120 million without players. For now, Rui Costa wants to keep. This is from CL Merlo. Um, and no players, so all money, all money. Chelsea's $105 million offer would be in various payments. That's the thing. We are looking to pay it in various payments. Uh, Enzo Fernandez is said to be waiting patiently to see if Chelsea and Benfica can find an agreement. It remains to be seen whether or not a deal will be set up for the summer. That, that, this is the other factor as well. Um, Chelsea are determined to push through a deal. Even if we can get this deal done and we have to agree to a situation where we look to loan the player back to Benfica, much like the Marlo Augusto, I'm happy to do that. As long as we can secure this player for next season, I am all down for that. If Benfica are worried that they don't have enough time to find a replacement, which they don't, to be honest, 
literally a couple of more days to go. I'm happy, just like the Marlo Augusta situation. Give us the player, we can start thinking about him next season and not worry about that there is, you know, we have to deal with competition from other clubs for his signature. And you can have the player for the remainder of the season and continue on with your campaign in, in the Portuguese league and in the Champions League. So let's find a let's find something. If we can get this player now, wow, it transforms our season. Game changer for me. Absolute game changer, Enzo Fernandez. So now would be amazing, but even for summer, I think it'll be absolutely fantastic if we can get this done. It's understood Chelsea have a chance of pulling off what would be a stunning end to the window. This is from Matt Law, 100%. I mean, to all the people that have been somewhat uh, you know, complaining that oh, we're not addressing the midfield situation, our owners have tried level best, man. Enzo Fernandez, Caicedo, we're going for the top range. We could have gone for all these Mickey Mouse, other midfielders, but we didn't. We stayed true. And I love that. I love that. We have a plan and we're trying to execute that. Every player we've brought in in this window, top quality player. We've got a plan and we're sticking to it. None of these plan C, plan D. No, stick to your plan A at most plan B. I'm, I'm, I'm so glad we are going in hard for Enzo Fernandez again. And there, there could be some hope now. I think there could be some hope. We don't go back for the second time around not feeling that there isn't any hope whether it happens or not we'll see but we're really pushing now we're pushing we're testing benfica around massively we've got benfica under pressure high press high press on benfica absolutely you know taking taking the you know living breaths away from them suffocating them let's see what benfica does now i think the key factor will be is the payment structure if I'm Benfica, honestly, I wouldn't lose this opportunity to, to earn a lot of money. And apparently, th there's words that we're looking to go as high as even 100 million upfront. I think now the upfront payment, as, as touted in social media, is 80 million. We're looking to pay 80 million upfront. But maybe, maybe we'll go as high as 100 million. And the remainder, just give us a bit of time. So hopefully Benfica comes into, into the party and Rui Costa, come on, man. Don't make your player unhappy. There's a lot of money riding on this particular deal. River Plate's watching as well. Let's get to the bottom of it. The player wants to move. The player definitely wants to move. So let's, let's not stop this situation. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know how you feel about all of this. What does your intuition say? Are we going to get Enzo Fernandez? Are we not going to get him? I know I don't want to rise everyone's hope up, even myself, much like the last time, and then it doesn't happen. But even if we can get something done for the summer, I think I'll take that as well. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed this. Smash the like button. Keep a close eye on this particular situation. Any moment we could possibly go live if something happens. And... Um, yeah, we're coming very close to the end of the transfer window. So, yeah, smash the like button. Subscribe if you're here for the first time. Very close to 20,000 subscribers, less than 200 away. And um, make sure you hit the bell notification to stay in touch with all my content. Till next time. See ya.